So we're now at a point where we should be able to edit our actual posts. We are able to create them and we're able to see them. Now we actually need to just be able to edit them. Um, so to do this, we are gonna jump into our views. So views.py and we're gonna copy the post detail or a lot of things about the post detail and put it into the post update. So the few things that we're gonna copy is first off the instance, we're definitely gonna have that in there. And then context, we also can put that there. Um, and other than that, I'm going to also add in ID equals to none. And then finally the rendering part for the template itself. And we're gonna delete this other stuff. And since we have the instance itself and we also wanna use the form, so we actually wanna actually update this. So we'll need a form there. So I'm gonna use the form from the post create stuff. Copy that and paste this down here. And we'll just add form into our context. Okay, so a few things to note. First of all, we have to get an instance. An instance actually has to exist here. Uh, then we have to create that form, request posts or none. And then we will do the exact same stuff that we did with the form and having form valid. So we don't need this title stuff here either. And then finally, we put the context in there so we can actually use it on our template. There is one more thing we still need to do here, but I'm going to get rid of some of the comments inside of this view because we really just don't need this stuff anymore. So I'm gonna just get rid of all of these little comments everywhere. So it's a little bit cleaner and easier to work with for us. And of course, uh, the GitHub will have those comments still on there, so you can always reference those later. Um, so now that we've got this, this post update, we want to update how our URL works, because now that it takes the ID in, because we need an instance, we need to change our URL. So it's going to be exactly like post detail, except we um, don't need to call it post detail, stay as post update. So we'll get the ID, and then I'm just going to change it from update to edit and we're gonna give it a name of update. Okay, so now we've got this new view that we can work with. So if I go to post three slash edit, it gives me this form, but it's empty. It's not actually editing anything. It looks like a lot like the create view um, because it is almost the create view, except we just need to add one more thing into our form itself, and that is an instance. So we just set instance equal to instance. We refresh in here, and now we're actually doing the editing I change this to title, save it. We go back and we do three and there it is. It's showing us exactly what we wanna see. Cool, so one thing that it's not doing is it's not actually taking us back to this page or showing us this new object that's created, right? So when we create that item, um, it should take us back to it, not or back to the detail of it, not just save it and do nothing, right? That doesn't make any sense. Like a form after it's done should actually redirect them something. So in HTTP, we're gonna import HTTP redirect, HTTP response redirect, that is. And we're gonna use this and we'll just say return HTTP response redirect to instance.get absolute URL and run it. Uh, it is a method, so you have to actually call that method. And we're gonna do this exact same thing on the update as well. Post update. So here we could say a message saying success of some kind. I will actually add these in the next one. Um, so now we've got that response redirect. I hit continue here and it actually takes me back here and shows the title itself. So if I said new content here and hit create post, it says new content here. Um, cool. So that's all we have to do for the update view. It's very simple. It's working with the edit or the post view or the create view in the first place. Um, and it's just making a slight difference. The biggest difference here is the instance itself. And then finally, we are running that standard get absolute URL method, which is coming from the model instance itself. So that is an instance method that we're working with based off of what's going on here. Of course, we could update our context to be a little bit more um, robust as far as what we're looking at when we're editing it, right? The form could say edit uh, post, to, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, but we're not going to worry about that at this point. So in the next one, we'll actually put in something for this messages right here. If you have any questions on what we did, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.